All right, Josh, this is a video to show you how to do this storefront the proper way. We're going to start by going to the wall tool, do architectural walls, and in the type rollout, we're going to browse or scroll all the way down to where there's the curtain walls are. And we're going to choose the default storefront curtain wall for now. And we're going to change the height of this to unconnected and we are going to specify nine feet as the height since the one we're replacing is also nine feet. Easiest way to do this is to draw this in a plan view. Um, and a plan view is probably the easiest way to do this because it um, uh, allows us to snap from one end of the wall to the other. And I'm just going to isolate this in the 3D view so we can see it easier and um, now we're going to edit the type and we're going to just kind of specify the, 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 uh, the parameters to get closer to what our actual door is going to be. So the concern here is the doors are typically three feet wide, um, seven foot tall. So um, I was about to edit this, but then I realized I didn't duplicate it. So we're going to edit type and duplicate, call it three feet by seven feet. And we're going to change the vertical grid spacing, uh, which is set to five feet right now. We're going to change that to three feet fixed distance. Um, a little confusing because vertical grids are running in this direction. So we're actually, we're specifying the horizontal distance here. And then for the horizontal grids uh, run this way. So we're specifying the, the height of the door because um, to be seven feet. So we're going to go and just type that in. And that should help us with um, the, the, the getting us closer to our parameters. We can see here that, you know, it, it added a few grid lines and in order to get this to be centered properly, we're going to change the justification for the storefront to be center justified. And that should take away the math that we might have to do to kind of get it, you know, positioned correctly later on. All right. So now we get to massage this a little bit and, um, basically um, uh, start removing the different components. So storefront systems are made from uh, mullions, grids, and, and, and windows or panels. Um, so you have the ability to edit any of these things. If there's a pin, that means it's just following the default rules that you set. You can unpin it and override any of these things. Uh, here, we're gonna select the grid line and we're gonna do something called add and remove segments. And then by clicking on that segment, it will merge the two segments into one piece. So instead of having two pieces of glass here in the middle, we're just going to have one piece of glass that we're going to replace for a double door. And essentially, we don't want to have two different doors that we're tagging. We just want to tag one door and call it a day. Um, so now we've got what's one piece of paint here. And then we're going to adjust um, the, uh, get, uh, select the mullions, unpin them, and delete them. And now selecting the piece of glass, we can unpin it and then swap it out for a actual door uh, panel. These aren't your regular doors. These are special doors that are designed to be used as a panel system inside of a curtain wall or storefront. Um, but um, all their properties behave just like doors. Um, we can see here that um, uh, the door is actually taking the shape of whatever the, its container is. And in this case, we were close to three feet, but not quite because of the mullions taking up some space. We need to adjust the mullions. And, and instead of moving the grids around, um, I'd rather do something called um, create a new grid system or create a new curtain wall system called manual. That allows us to um, specify the vertical and horizontal grid distance to be um, um, uh, basically none. And when we do this, it's going to prompt us if we want to delete the old grid line. So we're going to say no. Um, but this will allow us to basically unpin it for us and then we can now move them freely. And um, once we do that, then the easiest way to do it is to, in plan view, select uh, the mullion on the right, specify the distance to be three feet one and a quarter because it's you know the mullion is two and a half and half of two and a half is one and a quarter so we need to do three feet one and a quarter for one side three feet one and a quarter for the other side and that will give us our proper um six foot clear distance for the for the doors 
And then we just need to do the same thing for the height of the door. So selecting that horizontal grid line above the door in the 3D view will allow us to see that dimension. Instead of seven feet measured to center, we want to go see seven foot one, one and one quarter measured to center. And um, selecting the door, going to the properties of the door, we'll see that it, it's exactly the width of six feet and the height of seven feet. And um, before we finish everything off, we, do, we need to do one more thing, that is transfer the, the properties or the information associated with the, the old door to the new door. And there's no quick way to do that. We just have to manually type things in. Um, so I'm going to select the old door and get the properties like the, the mark number and um, the assembly type and frame types and things like that and just kind of manually um, um, enter those into the other door. You can also do this from the schedule view as well, but um, I just want to show you that, that those properties are actually inherent in the door. And when you when you, you, you enter those properties, it will translate over. So just manual process of transferring that stuff over. Once you're done, then it's just a matter of just deleting the old door and then, um, and then um, I'm using the align tool to align this curtain wall system into the other wall and it will it will do the cutout and everything else for us um, and keep in mind this door is not um, you can select it as it's as, as its own entity but it's actually a part of the system so when we when we move grid lines around or whatever um, in the system that door will resize appropriately or accordingly and so that's the uh, the, the gist of it here um, just going to finish entering those those values and then we will and I'm going to go check the schedule to make sure that this, one oh, this door 101 is here and uh, everything is good. All right. Hopefully this will be useful to you. And I'll see you later.